terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. Y'all, it couldn't have come at a more critical time. In state legislature after state legislature, Democrats are fighting for rights for pedophiles. One Democrat practically in tears because adults who expose their genitals to minors will now be charged as, you know, with a felony instead of misdemeanor. She is just, she can barely hold it back. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did I just say Democrat? Democrats are defending indecently exposing yourself to minors. Yes, they would like adults to be able to do it online and in person. Let that sink in for a minute. But I want to tell you what we've accomplished. We've taken down two major initiatives. Uh, The first one is Minnesota. Minnesota trended over and over and over and over on Twitter. Why? Because they're planning a blacklist of citizens there. That's one of the bills uh, and anybody in the country can go on it if they commit a politically incorrect offense and offend some uh, snowflake so they can ruin your life in minnesota even if you don't live there if i post something in south carolina they could ruin my life the second thing they were trying to give pedophiles rights you would not be able to discriminate and get this hiring teachers for elementary schools got to hire that pedophile uh, adoptions yeah the children will need to be go- to go with the new pedophile parent set this thing would have flown through you know what stopped it Twitter. Minnesota trended and trended and trended and no one stopped it. Pedophile rights trended and trended and trended and no one stopped it. And we won. The Democrats held on for three days fighting for pedophile rights in Minnesota before they cracked. And we cracked them with free speech. And we did it in a state that the de- where the Democrats control the governorship and both houses of the legislature. That's the unmitigated raw power of free speech and free debate to shine the light on what these lunatics are doing. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. WORD, the voice of the Carolinas.